Hello examiner, my name is Dr. Zafar, my name is Zafar, my name is 1,2,3,4,5, can you proceed? Thank you so much. As you may have taken all the notes of the question bills. Hello. Hello. Are you going to Brown? Yes, doctor. My name is Dr. Zafar, one of the doctors working here. Can you please confirm your age for me? Doctor, I am 38 years old. Alright, Michael, uh, I can see that you have some problem. Can you please tell me what happened? Doctor, I have this leg pain, doctor. I am very sorry to hear that. Uh, which leg? Doctor, it's in my right leg. What about the left leg? Left leg seems fine, doctor. Michael, when this pain started? Doctor, it started in the morning. And Michael, can you please score your pain for me on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the no <coughs> pain, so less pain, and 10 being worse pain? Doctor, it's 9, doctor. I'm really so it's quite high pain. Just bear with me for a few minutes, Michael. I'm just going to assess you. Then definitely I'm going to help you regarding this. Michael, do you have any chest pain? No, doctor. And show us a breath? No, doctor. All right. And uh, by just do you have any fever? No, doctor. Do you have any heart racing? No, doctor. Any dizziness? No, doctor. Uh, Michael, uh, do you have any diagnosed mental condition? No, doctor. Are you taking any medications? No, doctor. Are you allergic to any medicine? No, doctor. Okay, Michael, thank you so much. So, uh, Michael, now I'm going to quickly assess you. All right? All right, doctor. So, uh, what I will do, I will be looking at you. I will be touching, tapping, and listening to different parts of your body. For that, I need to understand you as well. Uh, a member of medical team will be with me to show your privacy and dignity. All right? All right. Can you proceed? Yes, doctor. First, let me see if you are attached to the monitor. I can see that the patient is attached to the monitor. Alright, it's white result quite reassuring. Michael, I am going to start A, B, C, D approach. Alright? Alright, doctor. As the patient is talking to me, I am not worried about his airway. I am just going to look in his mouth. Alright, everything seems fine. Okay, Michael, I am going to examine your chest now. Alright, doctor. I am going to undress your chest. Alright, everything seems fine. Respiratory is fine as well. Take a central. Chest suspensions are fine. I'm going to tap. This looks fine as well. I'm going to listen to your breath sounds. Alright. It's normal. I would like to order portable chest x and images. Alright, doctor. Michael, I'm going to. Now pinch your finger. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Michael, I'm going to feel your pulse. Okay, it's normal. I can see that heart is a little higher side. It might be because of pain. Patient's having. Now I'm going to check your blood pressure. It's quite reassuring. Okay, Michael, I'm going to address you to listen to your heart. Okay, Michael, I'm going to like for the friendly DCG. Alright, I'm now going to insert large body cannula and I will send blood for routine blood investigation, infected markers, infection markers, also heart attack markers, heart failure markers, clothing profile, D dimers as well. Alright, and I will also like to give my patient more than 5 milligram as any severe pain. Okay, I'm going to give you pain medication through the veins. Alright, doctor. Alright, so um, Michael, I'm going to check your temperature. Okay, temperature is normal. Michael, I'm going to check your blood sugar levels. It's normal as well. Alright, Michael, I'm going to shine light in your eyes. Okay, it's normal as well. Alright, Michael, how are you feeling, Michael? Doctor, I still have pain. Don't worry, Michael, I'm just going to assess you. I'm here to help you. Just bear with me, please. Alright, doctor. Okay, alright, Michael, can you please move your right leg for me? No, doctor. I and your left leg? Yes, doctor, I can. Okay, alright. And my patient is alert and active on any UP scale. Okay, uh, Michael, I am going to. Examine your tummy. Right. Small. I'm going to look at the private part. Ah, just 
Michael, now I'm going to examine your legs, right? All right, doctor. I'm going to look at the leg. For any color changes, I can see that it's pale, blue. The hair distribution is also not normal here. Okay, Michael, I'm going to touch your leg to feel the temperature. All right? All right, doctor. Michael, can you please feel my hand? No, doctor. All right, uh, patient's leg is cold and sensation is reduced as well. Michael, I'm going to feel the pulse in your foot. All right, doctor. There is no dorsal spedius. No right size. Posterior tibia is palpable. All right, Michael, uh, I'm not able to feel pulse in your foot. I'm suspecting that you uh, there's some clot in your leg that is uh, stopping the blood supply to your leg. That's why you're having pain. So I'm going to start with 100% oxygen, why not with the mask, 15 liter per minute. By any chance, do you have any smoker stuff? No, doctor. Uh, I'm going to give this oxygen to prevent any tissue damage. And now can you please lift your head for me, it will help in your pain as well. I'm also going to give my patient 5000 units heparin IV as well. Alright, doctor. Michael, how are you feeling? Doctor, a bit better now. Alright, uh, I'm glad you are feeling better. I can see that your heart rate is a bit improved as well. Okay, Michael, so now I'm going to explain what actually happened. Alright, doctor. So basically, Michael, you presented with pain in your leg and on uh, the examination and history, I'm suspecting that you have something called acute limb ischemia. Alright, doctor. It means uh, the blood supply in your leg is not normal because there might be some clot that is stopping the blood supply to your leg. Alright, doctor. Uh, so, uh, then after assessment, I have given you some painkillers, I have given you some blood thinner medication and also given you oxygen to prevent tissue damage. I am glad you are feeling better than before. Alright. So now my recommendation is to keep you here. We will be doing some ultrasound doctor of your legs and also checking the ABPI as well. Alright, and then uh, the vascular surgeon will come and assess you and might be doing some surgery to remove the clot in your leg. Alright, doctor. Is there anything that you want to ask? No, doctor. Anything you are worried about? No, doctor. Okay, thank you so much. So, I managed a patient who presented in pain in the right leg and on uh, examination there was no pulse uh, in the right foot. So. Uh, it was a cupid ischemia case. I have given him morphine 5 mg, then oxygen to prevent tissue damage, and also heparin 5000 units as well. After that, uh, we uh, I have also recommended ultrasound doctor of the leg and AVP as well. And then vascular surgeon will assess him and might need some surgery. I will have to remove the clot. That's all. Thank you so much.